Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a new stitch and it is super, super easy. Just one row re repeat. I came across this on TikTok and uh, I don't know, I, I should have followed her right away, but uh, I, I, something happened to my uh, cell phone and I lost it. I will try to go back and try to follow her, but uh, I believe she's Turkish because uh, she couldn't say the front post, so, and uh, there were some Turkish words that she was recommending. Okay, this is the stitch. Can you see? It looks like a 3D stitch. Oh my goodness. Uh, I remember years ago, about 20 years ago, I had... Uh, I had this lady ask me, uh, it was a blanket, she wanted me to do, uh, she wanted me to show her to do it. I believe it's this stitch and something happened and uh, we forgot about it. I don't know. She said she couldn't do it. It was too hard, but uh, yeah. So uh, I said to myself, I am going to do a tutorial and this would be in my videos. So uh, I would always go back and, you know, crochet because it's super easy and I just had to share it with you. Okay, this yarn is the, uh, I just took a sample and then worked on it. I was uh, frogging this, uh, uh, what, whatever, I don't know what this was. I think I was making a hat and uh, something happened. So uh, yeah, and uh, I just did a sample. So this is the sample. And this is a four weight. So I'm going to try this with a three weight. This is the Lion Brand Mandana. I, I can't remember the name because I bought this from Ipwick Outlet. And I want to make a baby blanket. So chain, oops, it's, it's hard to take it because this is pretty, pretty heavy. It's not 100 gram, it's not 200 gram, but there's lots of yarn here. Okay, so these are the colors in it. You can make anything with this. It's a... Uh, unisex uh, like you make it for a boy for a girl uh, so chain as long as you need there's no uh, uh, rule just chain and I'll be right back and we're gonna start it right away cuz uh, yeah we don't have to do single crochet if you want to do single crochet double crochet the first row you are welcome to but uh, I'm just gonna start it right, right away and I will do the border and I do have a playlist if you go into my playlist I have border edging and uh, I have several tutorials. I have over 600 videos, so <laughs> you can go and check them. And uh, yeah, which uh, whichever uh, border you want to crochet it with. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to chain as long as I need. Uh, you, usually I aim for the 32 inch, 32 by 32. So we're going to crochet it flat back and forth. And then uh, we'll go from there. Just love, love, love the stitch. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I chained total of 180 chain. 180 chain is uh, just over 32 because it might uh, shrink, right? So I have put that in mind. <laughs> so 32, it's okay if it's over 32, but I am aiming for a baby blanket. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, what we need to do is, so there's 180 chain, and then I'm going to chain one, Focus. One. Oops, what did I do? One, two, three, four. So that that will be considered as one double crochet. Right on that last hundred and eighty, I'm going to make a double crochet. Okay. This is how we're going to start. Like I said, you can make one row single crochet. You can make one row double crochet, and then uh, you can uh, make whichever you like. Okay, so right here, I am looking at it. So I'm going to chain two. I am going to skip one chain. And on the second, I'm going to make two double crochet. Okay. So chain two, one, two. And then skip one. And on the second, make two double crochets right in that spot. Okay. Okay, on the next one, I'm not going to chain. Again, I'm going to skip one. And on the second, on the second, I am going to make two double crochet. Okay. 
Okay, so this is one set. Let's say it that way. I am going to chain two. Skip one on the second. I'm going to make two double crochet. No chain. Skip one on the second. Make two double crochet. And this is all we're going to do the entire row. That's all we're going to do. <clears throat> so chain two. Skip one. Skip one. On the second, make two double crochet. No chain. Skip one. <clears throat> On the second make two double crochet and I'm just going to repeat this over and over if you get lost just rewind and go back to the beginning how we started and this is all we're going to do okay and I will meet you all the way to the end because this is going to take me time and I don't want you to hold and repeat one after another so it's just a repeat and I will see you at the end Okay, I just want Anna to show you instead of, um, uh, it didn't look good. So what I did is I went back and what I did is uh, when I did the two chain, I skipped two. And on the third, I did the two double crochet and then uh, skip one chain. On the second one, make two double crochet, two chain, skip two. And on the third, repeat it over and over. So uh, otherwise it was too tight. And it did not look good so this looks way better when you put it down so skip a two when you're chaining the two chain and then on the third continue making your two double crochet okay just wanted to show you again there's no written pattern i don't know if there's a written pattern i just saw her do crocheting it while she was crocheting it i put it in my mind and i crocheted it <laughs> Uh, and I lost that uh, page for some reason. I don't know. I'm new to TikTok. So, yeah, I uh, just wanted to share this tutorial and I just love it. And I know this. I saw the stitchy 20 years ago. Uh, maybe not 20, but in the 2009, I believe. So, yeah, over 10 years now. So over a decade ago. And I just wanted to show you. So I will come to the end and uh, we will do the ending and then start the second row. Okay, so I'm at the end. I did one my, one of my sets, and then I still have plenty of chain, and then I'm going to chain two, skip two, one, two on the third. I'm going to make two double crochet. Okay, so this is perfect. And chain three to go up. Pull this. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay, so now I'm right here. Let me just show you this uh, part. Okay, so I'm right here. Chain two, three, and then I'm going to make two uh, double crochet, two chain double crochet. Okay. Let me just pull this so you won't get distracted. Turn my work and then what I'm going to do is <clears throat> so this would be considered as one double crochet make one double crochet right where that two chain is and then I'm going to chain two okay and then make another double crochet right there okay And then what I'm going to do is, I'm looking at the sample, okay, and then right here where this uh, set is, right here at the beginning of that double crochet, I am going to make a front post double crochet, okay, just like this. And then I'm going to uh, jump, jump all the way to this end here where the fourth here is and then make a front post double crochet okay so this creates that 3d look 
and then what I'm going to do is from here uh, I am going to uh, make a double crochet where that two chain is right there between just like this okay so I'm going to chain two this is when we make the two chain is when we make two double crochet two chain and uh, again one double crochet and then the second is going to be a front post so I am actually making four double crochets so that's all I'm doing front post at the other end here and then make a double crochet okay when you look at it uh, what we're doing is we're making a V in the middle right where the two chain is and then what I'm doing is when I make the V I'm making a double crochet two chain double crochet and then when I'm looking at this set here I am making a two double crochet but the second is a front post and I'm jumping the third is a, po a front post and this uh, um, is the double crochet uh, I hope you understand how this is crochet it's super easy but it is a little bit confusing so I try to explain as much as I can so we're uh, when you look at it you see the V's right and then you see you see this the front post the two front post here okay so and then we just repeat it over and over two chain to make a V make a double crochet and then right here make a front post where where we, where we did the uh, two double crochet skip one two double crochet so we have four double crochets and then I just jump here and then make a front post and then right here make a double crochet and then make a V and then make a double crochet and I repeat this all the way to the end and this is how it looks like just wanted to show you oh this is fantastic the more I crochet and the colors are going to change oh this is going to be fantastic I'm so excited okay so I'm just gonna repeat again I made my V and then I just come here make a front post jump here make a front post where two chain is make a double crochet two chain double crochet Again, front post, front post, and then a double crochet. Okay, when you look at it, you see the four double crochets here. And then the separation is the two chain, and then four double crochets. So it's over and over. So I am going to crochet this all the way to the end, and I will meet you at the end, and we will start row three. Okay, so I'm at the end. I did my set here and then I'm going to jump right here and then make a front post and then make a double crochet right there to uh, two chain and then make another double crochet and then make a front post just like this. Just wanted to show you and this is how we oops this is how we finish it right here okay and then as you can see I'm going to make another double crochet right here uh, yeah I'm going to make another double crochet or even what I can do is I can grab that three chain that we have and then on on the tip here and then make grab it from there and then make my double crochet three chain to go up and start a new row and I'm just going to repeat this over and over until the length that I need it's just a one row repeat so I automatically so this uh, three chain would be considered as one double crochet and then I am going to jump right there right here and then where the front post is 
and then grab it and make a front post. Okay. Double crochet, two chain, double crochet, front post. See how it looks like? This is from the back and this is from the front. Yeah. And I'm just going to repeat it like I said over and over until I have the length that I need. Just like this. So I jump here, make my front post where that uh, <clears throat> V is, grab it from there, and then make a double crochet in that three, two chain, two chain, double crochet, make a front post. Jump here, make a front post, double crochet where the two chain is, two chain. And this is all to it. This is all we do. So I'm going to uh, come to the end because uh, I know, for especially for new beginners, you will get confused when you finish the row and start a new row. That's why I'm going to come back and show you how to start the fourth row, which is like I said, it's just a repeat over and over. And this is how it looks like. It gives you this nice 3D look. And when you look at, at the back, this is how it looks like. Double crochet. Front post. Front post is where we do the Vs. That's where we grab it from the double, the double crochet. Come to the V, jump to the V, make a front post on that double crochet, and then make a double crochet where that two chain is, two chain, double crochet, and make a front post where that V is, grab it like that, and then again, this is going really nice. If I'm uh, crocheting fast, you can go to the settings and you can slow it down. There's uh, several different speeds that you can change the way you want it. <clears throat> okay, so I will meet you at the end to start a new row. Okay, so I'm at the end here, almost at the end. I just wanted to show you and jump right here on the front post, make a front post on the double crochet, make a front post. And then right where the V is, the two chain is, make a double crochet, two chain, uh, two chain always make a double crochet. So what we're doing is we're making these on in the two chains. Okay. And then double crochet. And where that three chain is, just come right here. And then make a double crochet. Oops. One, two, three, turn our work. And then we just repeat what we did on the, uh, on the previous. So uh, come right here where the V is, make a front post, double crochet, two chain. So we're just repeating. It's one row of we'll repeat after, after another. And this is how we start the new row. Okay, can you see? This is becoming nice. Make a front post where the V is. And in that two chain, make a double crochet, two chain, double crochet. It is so easy. Those, uh, the 
the front post that we make totally changes the stitch. It gives that 3D look effect. That's all I can say. So I'm going to crochet a couple of rows. This is going to take me forever. <laughs> but you guys are so lucky on YouTube. It's like magical. Because <laughs> I have to pause while I'm crocheting, right? And I will come to show you how the stitch becomes. You can make dresses. You can make tops out of the stitch. Just make two pieces. And then... Just gives that new uh, beautiful look. You can make a, you can make a scarves, shawls, stoles, anything, anything. A bedspread. It's like endless. I just really, really like this stitch. Okay, so I will come back to show you how it looks like. Gives that nice 3D look. Okay, before I let you guys go, I wanted to show you one more time how to finish it and restart it. Uh, restart a new row, because I know for new beginners it's always difficult. Okay, so I did my front post. And then right here, right here where that three chain is, I'm just going to grab it from the, I believe, second or third. And then make a double crochet. And I finished that row chain three to go up and then start a new new row and I change my color changed to white so I did my front post I did my double crochet and I'm just repeating one row after another that's all I'm doing and I'm making a V and then right here where the V is that double crochet I'm making a front post and jumping all the way here and then making a front post into that chain make a double crochet and this is how easy it can be okay I will come back maybe make a couple of more rows and I will come back to show you how it looks like so far but you can see it's very elegant ta-da ta-da oh my goodness I am so excited I am so thrilled with the stitch. I hope everyone loves it and enjoys creating crocheting one of a kind. Oh my goodness, this is just lovely. Oh, and it, it stretches, so this is nice. So, um, and then the thing is, there's no holes to put the baby's fingers in. Like, it doesn't go in between because of the front post it just covers it i hope you like this tutorial i really hope so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends happy crocheting everybody and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified happy crocheting